our brilliant star. An introduction. The sun is our very own star. It is incredibly important to us all. It, it hangs in our sky each day. We see its brilliant life-giving light. It is a constant presence in our lives. Without the sun, Earth would be dark, a very cold and lifeless place. Our star makes our world possible. It is a true cosmic wonder close by. It is the daytime star we know so well. The sun is absolutely enormous in size. It is much, much bigger than our Earth. You could fit over one million Earths inside it. Imagine that for a moment truly vast. It is like a giant glowing ball, a sphere made of super hot gas. This gas is mainly hydrogen and helium. Its gravitational pull is immense. It holds our entire solar system together. Our planet is tiny compared to this star. The sun is also very, very old. It has been shining for a long time. Scientists estimate it is about 4.6 billion years old. That is a truly staggering number of years. And it will continue to shine brightly for many billions of years more. It is considered a middle-aged star. It is in a stable phase of its life. This stability is crucial for life on Earth. We are lucky to have such a consistent star. The sun is the magnificent center of everything here. Our entire solar system revolves around it. All the planets, including our Earth, orbit the sun. Dwarf planets, asteroids and comets do too. The sun's powerful gravity keeps them in their paths. It acts like an invisible cosmic tether. Without its gravity, planets would drift away into the cold, dark emptiness of space. The sun is the true anchor of our neighborhood. It governs the dance of all celestial bodies nearby. Peeking inside the sun's structure and power, the sun is not just a simple ball of fire. It has a complex internal structure with layers. Think of it like a cosmic onion, but much hotter. The main parts are easy to remember. Deep inside is the incredibly dense core. Around that is the radiative zone. Then comes the bubbling convective zone. Each layer plays a part in the sun's function. Energy is made deep within and travels outwards. Understanding these layers helps us understand our star. The core is the very heart of the sun. It is the hottest and densest part by far. It is located deep, deep inside the sun. The pressure there is absolutely immense, millions of times greater than on Earth. The temperature is around 15 million degrees Celsius. It is a place of unimaginable conditions. This is where the sun's energy is born, a true powerhouse hidden from our view. It is the engine room of our star. The sun is made mostly of simple elements. The most abundant gas is hydrogen. It makes up about three quarters of the sun's mass. The next most common is helium. These are the two lightest and simplest elements. They exist in a plasma state in the sun. This means the atoms are stripped of electrons. There are traces of other heavier elements too, but hydrogen and helium are the main fuel. Their transformation powers our solar system. Energy is created in the sun's super hot core. This incredible process is called nuclear fusion. It is like a continuous controlled explosion. Tiny hydrogen particles, protons, join together. They are forced together by the intense heat and pressure. They fuse to form slightly heavier helium atoms. During this fusion, a tiny bit of mass is lost. This lost mass converts into a huge amount of energy. This follows Einstein's famous E sum C2 equation. This energy is what lights and warms our Earth. The sun's fiery temper activity and cycles. The sun's visible surface is called the photosphere. This is the bright layer that we actually see. It is not solid, but a dense layer of gas. Its temperature is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. Above the photosphere lies the sun's atmosphere. This atmosphere has two main parts. First is the chromosphere, a reddish layer, and then the incredibly hot, wispy corona. The corona extends millions of kilometers into space. It is only visible during a total solar eclipse. The sun is not always a perfectly calm sphere. It shows various forms of solar activity. One common feature is sunspots. These are temporary, cooler, dark patches. They appear on the photosphere's surface. They are caused by intense magnetic fields. These magnetic fields poke through the surface. Sunspots can be larger than the Earth. They come and go, changing in number. They are a sign of the sun's dynamic nature. Sometimes the sun has much bigger outbursts. It can suddenly release huge bursts of energy. These are known as solar flares. They are powerful explosions of radiation. The sun can also send out coronal mass ejections. These are often called CMEs for short. CMEs are massive clouds of superheated gas or plasma. They are hurled out from the sun into space. These events show the sun's more violent side. They can travel at incredible speeds. 
All this solar activity changes over time. It follows a fairly regular pattern. This pattern is known as the solar cycle. The solar cycle lasts about 11 years on average. During this cycle, the sun's activity increases. We see more sunspots, flares, and CMEs. This is called the solar maximum. Then the activity gradually decreases. This leads to a quieter period, solar minimum. The sun's magnetic field drives this cycle. The sun's gifts and our future with it. The sun provides Earth with essential light. This light travels across space to reach us. It takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds for sunlight to journey from the sun to Earth. This light allows us to see the world around us. It illuminates our days and fills them with color. Without sunlight, our planet would be in perpetual darkness. It is fundamental for our vision. And for many processes on our planet, it is a constant stream of energy. The sun also gives our planet vital warmth. This warmth keeps Earth at a habitable temperature. It prevents our world from becoming a frozen wasteland. Life as we know it depends on this warmth. Plants, animals and humans all need it. It drives our weather systems and ocean currents. The balance of this warmth is delicate. Too little and we freeze. Too much and we burn. The sun provides just the right amount for life. Its heat is a comforting, life-sustaining force. Plants on Earth use sunlight in a special way. They perform a process called photosynthesis. They use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to create their own food, which is sugar. This process also releases oxygen into the air, oxygen that we and other animals breathe. Photosynthesis is the foundation of most food chains. It converts the sun's energy into chemical energy. This energy then passes to animals that eat plants. So, the sun's energy powers nearly all life. Studying the sun is incredibly important for us. It helps us understand how stars work in general. Our sun is the only star we can study up close. This knowledge helps us learn about distant stars. It also has very practical applications. We learn to predict space weather events, like solar flares and CMEs that can affect Earth. This helps protect our satellites and power grids. The sun is our star, a source of endless fascination. It will continue to be vital for our future.